Hi, I'm Taylor Carver, founder and head trader at thetradinganalyst.com. As a seasoned trader, I know what it takes to make money in any market. If you're looking to make money in the market and to be guided by a true professional, then look no further. As a member, you'll receive real-time text and or email alerts with profitable trades. A detailed trading plan so you're well prepared for the market day ahead, as well as trade reviews and educational material, plus so much more. Here's what some of our current members are saying about the membership. Whether you're just starting out or are a seasoned trader looking for an edge, you'll find a home here at The Trading Analyst. Sign up right now and start making consistent money in the market today. And first we're going to take a look at AGCO. First of all, I want to point out that we do have a nice uptrend here from October of 2015. And then we've got several touches in January and February of this year. As well as here in the end of June, we've got a couple touches here, here here on that last bounce and then as you can see on Friday's trading action we saw a big increase in volume more than doubling the average volume here on a very strong bullish candle we not only did that but we broke over this downtrend line right here and if you include just from here to here on this uptrend line right here we have a triangle breakout so bounced off of the uptrend broke out of the downtrend line and out of the triangle on heavy volume. I think that AGCO is headed for higher prices. We have a gap here just above $52 from the close of this candle right here that may want to fill, so just be aware of that. Next, let's take a look at BKE. And BKE you can see that we broke over some resistance right here at about 27.50. It was resistance here, here, a couple candles right there. And as you can see, we also have this uptrend line that was pushing us higher as well. Friday's action saw a nice big increase in volume. Again, almost double the average, uh, sometimes actually triple the average as well. So big increase in volume nice big bullish candle right here for BKE the next resistance I'm seeing is right around thirty one dollars you can see that it peaked here before just above that there's a gap to fill so that may want to flash fill up there uh, not quite sure but the main thing that you want to be focusing on is this resistance break this high volume and this uptrend line right here so I think that BKE is set for higher prices Next, I want to check out BPI, and BPI, another similar setup here. We've got this uptrend line leading us into this breakout, and we broke over this resistance right here. You can see that it was resistance over here, as well as right here, and we broke over that with a pretty nice bullish candle, as well as a nice increase in volume right here, well above the average. So I think that BPI is set for higher prices. Next, I want to take a look at CLDX. CLDX broke its uptrend line. We had a touch here, 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 almost a couple touches here. Bounced from it one last time, these couple of candles, and then the last three days you can see broke below it. So definitely think that CLDX is in danger of heading lower. Another thing that you want to look at is the increase in volume right here. So an increase in volume as we break the downtrend line, I'm sorry, as we break the uptrend line out of this pattern, as well as we have a downtrend line right here. So if we pop back up to about 440, 450, that should get rejected on the initial test. If it does break back over that, we can consider bullish opportunities. But until that happens, I think that CLDX is set for lower prices. Next, I want to take a look at CLSN. And CLSN, similar setup here. We broke over this downtrend line. You can see how many touches we have against this downtrend line. Right here, right here. And then we finally broke over the downtrend line with these candles right here. Now we also have a new 
uptrend line right here. Okay, this is also somewhat of a falling wedge. You can see the lower part of that wedge right here, and then we broke out of it right here. We also broke over this little mini resistance right here at 129. We have a nice big huge increase in volume about six or seven times the average volume uh, that we got on Friday. So nice increase in volume. I do think that CLSN is headed for higher prices. Next I want to take a look at CO and CO similar looking setup here we've got somewhat of a falling wedge pattern and as you can see we broke out of here here's the bottom end of that falling wedge and you can see that we saw a big increase in volume on Friday's action I do think that CO is headed for higher prices but you really want to see uh, another day or two of consolidation you want to see these lows hold if these lows do not hold after a candle like today I would not be interested in this long so you want to see these lows hold again this is only one day we've been in a really big downtrend and you can see so far this is one day so this isn't going to go straight up um, it can uh, but more than likely we're going to see uh, a little retest uh, to five dollars or, or maybe even a little bit lower um, before potentially heading higher so um, my plan um, and my recommendation is to be patient on this one you know you don't need to chase it right here because it is just one day let's give it some action uh, some time to really form a good pattern but overall definitely something that you want to keep on your watch list